Jack Hauser, PI. Don't scratch it, it's coming out your paycheck. <clears throat> hey, uh. All right. A 16 year old kid named Dean Matthews was murdered after he left a, a little uh, friend get together. I don't know, whatever kids do nowadays, you know. He was uh, discovered by his girlfriend, Sarah Mittens. <laughs> All right. That Jack Owls is uh, really something, eh? He's amazing. Hey, come here. Hold this. It's always on Tuesdays. Yep, classic case of poison. Wow, Jack, I can't believe you figured that out so quickly. You're pretty amazing. Thank you, Rhonda. Actually, it's, it's a... Okay, show me where the suspects are. Yes, sir. They're right, right over here. All right, right thank you. Famous Detective Jack Hauser. Yeah, and you're a murderer that eats Taco Bell. We usually don't turn out the way our parents want us to. Are you saying that just because I'm Mexican? If so, that's kind of racist. But I can assure you, I'm not a murderer. In fact, I think I can help you solve this case. You see, um, Dean, he's kind of my best friend. <laughs> you think I'm gonna let some nerd help me with a murder case? I can't interview you all today, so I'm gonna have to meet you all tomorrow at my office, around noonish. If anybody's gonna avenge my friend, it's gonna be me. Ah, uh, nature's great dirty bean water. I can't believe that little nerd thinks he can solve this case. I've been doing this for 25 some odd years and he really thinks he can beat me. Uh, let me call my compadre and see what uh, Forensics has said about that poison. Ah, I want. Hey, my compadre. Uh, I was just calling to see uh, what Forensics has said about that poison, or if they said anything at all. Yeah, I was just about to call you about that, but... Uh... I was asleep. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah. It says, uh. Yeah, it says the poison was a really fast acting toxin. And in fact, it just about killed him when it entered his system. It said it's possible that the poison could have been mixed with something to make it do the job faster. But, uh. That's actually, uh, more helpful than you think. That helps a lot, actually. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, man. Yeah. All right, thanks again, good buddy. Sleep well, bed bug. I'll catch you around. Is that a cockroach? Another day for another day. Jack Hauser, plaque offender. Doodle doo doo, gonna solve a murder. Doodle doo doo, at home, Jack Hauser. Doodle doo doo, I'm the best detective. Doodle doo. Oh, someone's at the door. I best we better go grab it. Hey, Mr. Detective, how's it going? Uh, Rhonda, right? Actually, it's Isabel, but. I can see how you get Rhonda. That's an excellent choice for a toothbrush. Right, it's got all these little grooves in it so I can get all the plaque in the hidden places. So Jack, can I call you Jack? I think I should really help with your investigation today. I rank number one at the Academy for Interrogation. Sure, I suppose I can use the extra help. Plus this pizza I'm gonna order later is just a little bit too much for me. Awesome, let's just jump into it.
Dude, it's, it's not a tea addiction. Dude, you have an addiction. It's not even an addiction. It's an obsession. Right? It's not any better. Lay on my, lay on my back, Dad. I mean, Josh. <laughs> now you old enough, Sarah. I should be asking you that. You were his best friend. I also really liked him. Great guy. All right, let's go inside. This is this is the ideal. All right, Papa Bear, it's time to claim your honey. You're right outside your office, Jack. All right, bring him in. Steve Smith. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. So, Steve, I take it you're we're good friends with Dean. Sorry for your loss. Finally, someone says that to me. You know, not not even my not even my mom said something like that. Well, that's very rude. I mean, you're just as good as friends with Dean as, say, Sarah or Josh, right? Well, yeah, technically, I, I, I guess. I mean, if I'm wrong, just tell me. I mean, I am just assuming. No, no, I, I am. I, I, I really am. I really am. I, I swear. I swear. No, I wouldn't say he's as close to him as me and Josh. And as a matter of fact, he only came because Josh invited him. So you'd say him and Josh were pretty close? Yeah, they would hang out about every day. Sure, he was my bestest friend in the whole wide world. But let's talk about you. Where were you on the night of the 31st? Yesterday was the 30th, and I'm asking the questions here. I'm trying to change the date on me, I, it's something a murderer would do. I'm not a time traveler. It's up Sarah and Dean. They were a couple or whatever, right? Mm-hmm, they were. But if you ask me, if you ask anyone here, really, I'd say she actually had the hots from me. You better answer my questions, boy. Your butt's on the line. All right then, Master Detective, explain this to me. How come I found tea and a piece of cloth at the crime scene? It's easy. That cloth is what uh, Sarah was wearing that night. And that tea is that, that tea Steve always drinks. Boom, better detective. You can never be better than Jack Hauser because he deserves respect and love. Love? The, the love of friendship. Is this cloth yours? Oh yeah, that was from an outfit of mine. I think Steve borrowed some. He needed it for a project. I didn't really mind though. It all just doesn't really make sense. I, I've looked at every angle and I just can't seem to figure it out. I've got it. Isabel, go get Steve. So I see that you like tea, Steve. I do. I mean, you drink it every day with every meal, every day of the year, of course. Yeah. That's why I think you're the murderer, Steve. I, I, I'm not a murderer, I assure you. See, that's what a murderer would say, Steve. I found one of your tea cans with the body, which means he was poisoned with the tea. It's fast acting, correct? It dissolved very fast in the contents of the tea. He must have been coughing it up. That's how I found it. I also found a piece of cloth at the murder scene. Did you know that? The same kind of cloth you had asked Sarah for for your project. Oh, gee whiz. It's kind of funny you lost some, didn't you? Yeah. See, Steve, I think you killed Dean to get with Sarah. Yeah. I'm taking you downtown, son. Get out of my office. I, 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 Enough butts. I, I, get out. Yeah. I'm taking you downtown, son. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, gee whiz. Wow. Looks like I did it. I actually did it. All I had to do was place a piece of my jean jacket near that, that kid that I gave tea to. I ought to hang out with Jack Hauser. Does that make me crazy? Nah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Jack, I did it, I solved the case.